Hello there, I'm your buddy Willem and lately I've been wondering why playing hard to get actually works. If you look it up on the internet, all these self-help gurus and pickup artists are like Yo man, you really gotta play hard to get because it works so damn good. All the girls will like you. But why? In this video I'm going to tell you why playing hard to get actually works and in which cases you shouldn't play hard to get and I'm going to do that to science. Welcome to Brains Applied. Playing hard to get works because of what is called the scarcity principle. We react to what is happening around us. If we feel like nobody likes us or if we feel like we are missing out on something or that we are limited in our opportunities, we will react to this and try to work harder to reach what we actually want. It's a bit like the supply and demand principle of economics. Depending on the amount of potential mating partners and their qualities, people will choose a different strategy to pick a potential partner. And scarcer goods are more valuable. Do you know that feeling when you go to a party and as time passes on, all the women or men become more and more attractive? We always say it's due to alcohol, but research has also found another effect. As it gets later and later in the evening, people are leaving the party and the amount of potential partners becomes scarcer. Also, time to find a potential partner is slowly taking away and that is putting more pressure on us and thus making people more attractive. Another study showed the Facebook profile of a few men to women and the researchers told the women that the men had seen their profile as well and that they had rated them. Either the women were told that the men liked them very much, about average or that they were uncertain of their feelings. When women were told that a man liked them, that man was on average more liked than the guy with his average feelings. However, the guys that were uncertain about their feelings were liked the most. And that is the scarcity principle at work. There are other evolutionary reasons as well. People that have a limited availability for other people do have a higher social reputation. They are less likely to cheat on their partner, they are less likely to dumb their partner for someone else and they are less likely to have an STD as they don't have sex with that many people. And also they will have less dangerous ex-partners. Although the last reason might be a bit prehistorical, should you play hard to get? Playing hard to get or being a nice guy seem to have a different effect. In a study, people that appeared to be interested were perceived as more likable. But people who played hard to get were seen as more interesting, they triggered more desire. And the latter is the thing that you want for a relationship. Warning: Playing hard to get only works when the person is already kind of committed to you. When he or she is already kind of interested, playing hard to get will magnify the interest. But otherwise you will just come across as a cold person and in that case being more likable will help you more. Women might not want to play hard to get at the first meeting because when a woman is more friendly and nicer they will be perceived by men as more feminine and more interesting for sexual purposes and relationships. For them being friendly is a good start and being hard to get is better for a later stage when you want him to chase you. But when guys are really interested and friendly on the first meeting, women will become more suspicious of this guy wanting something from them and with something I don't mean a relationship. So being a bit colder is probably better. Being friendly works best for a short term fling because people don't really want to invest a lot of time in a short term thingy. But for long term stuff, playing hard to get will probably give you a better outcome. In general, just remember that playing hard to get is a trade off between desire and frustration. Don't overdo it, but don't make it too easy. And that is what I wanted to tell you today. If you like this video, please press the subscribe button and the bell icon so you receive a notification next Friday when I upload a new movie. Also, please 
press the like button because then I actually know that people did like this video and I will make more videos like this in the future. And I will see you guys later.